get out here with the uh, the Artful Dodger and his crew. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, BT just dug himself a 558 caliber. Mm -hmm. You see how it, it's the last half it, where it smacked whatever it was it hit. Very cool. Yeah, it's very cool. Cool. All right, on to the next one. All right, uh, Jason's found two round ball now. Mike's found a round ball, and I just dug a round ball. So, no, like I said, they're not too far underneath the surface. You know, you see how rocky it is. So, that's cool. I'll take it. On to the next one. All right, DFX just dug himself a 54 caliber fired. As you can see, it's splattered there on the bat on the bottom. Or what have you. So, very cool. That's not what I think it is. Isn't yeah, it? I just caught it. Is it the speed of shame? Yeah. Okay, well. No more for today. A little scratchy, That's scratchy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on to the next one. Okay, got a signal. Lost it. That's weird. I'll get back with you. Huh. Very cool. I'll take it. On to the next. Well, just walked five feet and bam, got me another round ball. 44. Nice. On to the next one. All right, moving along. I'm in an area where sagebrush used to be, but the farmer ripped it out. So now you can get around where the sagebrush used to be. Got a signal. Bam. Bingo. It's my second sharps. For this uh, two-day hunt, very very happy. Let's see if there's any more in this area. All right, talk to you in a little bit. Bye. All right, got a signal deep, and it looks like I just got the grand slam while I've been out here. 69 caliber drop. So I've got the 54, 58, and a sharps yesterday. Today I got another sharps, and now I've got the 69 caliber. That's the grand slam for this location. So that's all four calibers that were used. Absolutely awesome. Talk to you in a little bit. Bye. Okay. BT's just walked over and he's just pulled four general service cut weapons out of, out of the same hole. So I must have been on a sleeve or something. That's not too bad. Oh, they are? Yeah. Yeah, that might be. Yeah. So, four buttons out of one hole. All right, we got some buttons. Excellent. Boom. On to the next one. All right. Uh, we just, uh, BT stayed to see me dig this signal I had. It was in the 90s. It was 91, 92. And uh, we've never seen anything like this before. No. It's got, oh, that's, I mean, that's a braided hair. Yeah. Man. Braided hair front says 1863. But on the back, it says New York. So it's a token from the Civil War era. I don't know. I, I, I'm guessing. <laughs> Find it today, I think. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So if anybody knows what this is, I'm sure we'll research it. But if anybody knows what this is, please let us know. Um, put it in the comments. Wow. Well, that's awesome. It's got one star on it, too. Mm -hmm. Underneath New York. Well, well, well. 1863. On to the next one. All right, moving along, and now I just dug a complete spent well. It's in two pieces, but it's a spencer. That's cool. I'll take it. <laughs> All right, on to the next one. All right, VT just walked over. He's got himself a button. Eagle General Service coat. Very nice. Pretty. Well done. Well done. How deep was it? Huh? Four or five inches. Nice, good signal. Yeah, I was just up and tucked in against the willows. Beautiful. Well done. Thanks. Oh, thank you. Oh, yep. On to the next one. <laughs> Try. JIA. <laughs> has, uh, Jason has uh, pulled us all, all over because he's he's uh, pointing to the bleachers. Yep. In fact, he's pointing to the lights out at left field because he says he's going to hit this one out of this park, right? Yep. Okay. 
What do you say it is? I say it's, it's ringing up 46, 47. You want me to play devil as a devil advocate? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to say it's a cow tag. Probably. No, no, you just already called it as a coin. So, it, okay. It's big it's, brass. We'll find out. Well, oh, it could be a plate. That would be cool. Okay. All right, we're gonna around. we're gonna stop the video until he got the plug out. Okay. We all know he's could be a this. could be a butt plate. Dug a few brass ones out of here. Oh, that's it right there, isn't it? It's a plate. It's a plate. It is. I'm pretty sure. Yep, that's a plate. <laughs> is that your first one? Oh, oh, oh uh, it's, a, it's a carving buckle. Carving, yeah, carving yes. buckle. That's okay. And it's got the leather still. Careful. Well done, dude. Oh, that's, that's your third awesome. one out of here, isn't it? Yep. Well, I love how you second, second and a half. Second and a half. Yeah, okay. Wow. There we go. Carbine buckle. Uh, that's as good as finding a plate, really, when yep. you think about it. So, yep. well done. Thanks. And you know what? I was thinking about it because I just found a Spencer over there. Mm. I found Complete a Spencer. Over there. And then that coin. Picked up to you know what? Okay, here's my theory. Not saying what units came out here, obviously, so we don't give away our area. But I bet you had a New York citizen couldn't make it to New York to join the New York regiment. So he joined a Union unit that came to this location during the Civil War. Hmm? That, that's my theory. How else would that coin have got here if it wasn't, you know? Yeah. Well done, dude. Thanks, it's got the three rivets. That's and... good, you got the three rivet. So it's three rivets, oh, not yeah. four. Yeah, check the hole again. Three. Let's see. Okay, she's got a bat wing in there. One, so it is two, three. three, yeah, okay, good. Good, good, good. Well done. Thanks. Well done. Yeah, that's awesome. On to the next one. On to the next one. All right, Jason just dug a complete Spencer, and uh, I've just dug a canteen spout that's got initials W A M on it. So, doesn't look like it's an early canteen spout, so I'm assuming it's probably Civil War, but that's very cool. Very cool. On to the next one. All right, kind of a live dig. It's ringing up in the 70s. Let's see what it is, shall we? And it's a round ball fired. 36 caliber, it looks like, or 32. I'll take it. On to the next one. All right, we've been uh, digging for a while. And uh, everybody's kind of spread out. Jason just uh, let me know that he dug a uh, Eagle A. And uh, I just dug a Timback Eagle A. So I finally got a button. <laughs> finally. <laughs> finally. I can't hear you. I'll talk to you later. So, anyway, but that's cool. There you go. Very cool. I'm happy. Alright, got a signal. Scratchy. Scraped away some of the grass and the weeds. Got a better signal dug down. And I just got me a nice eagle eye coat button. Very nice. Very, very nice. I know exactly what unit that went to. Very happy. All right, on to the next one. All right, we're starting to move back to the vehicles. And I just dug me another 52 Sharp. Awesome, very happy. All right, on to the next one. Okay, just got that Sharps. Filling that hole in. I had another signal right alongside. It's right here. It's 
It's another Sharps. Awesome. That's two in one location. There's got to be a few more here too. All right, let's keep digging. All right, PV here with DFX. <laughs> Jason, we'll just call you Jason. All right, that works. And BT Mining. I think I got you, I don't know. I'm sure the ladies will be disappointed if you didn't. Anyway, so what a day, huh? Uh, we started one location, ended up coming to another, and uh, the second location was by far the best. So we'll start with uh, DFXs and uh, got himself P caps, round balls. That's a uh, Spencer that was cut off. Cut, yeah. yeah, cut it. Yeah, yeah. 54, actually 254s. Yeah, that's a 54. So 254 calibers. Um, it does have writing on, doesn't it? Yeah, no idea what it is. It looks like a buckle of some type, doesn't it? Uh, have a sack hook, another suspender clip, regular rivet, have a sack rivet, pewter buttons, uh, general service coat, eagle eye, but by far his best find yeah. is his uh, 1865 Indian head penny. That's in good nick, too. That's very nice. That's in really good nick. So, yeah, there you go, look at that. Awesome. All right, now on to Jason's. Jason was using the CTX 3030, which my machine just did not like. It was putting out a pulsating, it was, it was just, it was terrible. Anyway, so, and uh, well, we'll start off with, he got his lucky horseshoe. He got a whole bunch of pewter buttons, a couple of Spencer cartridges. I was got any writing on the back and bottom of it. Nope. It's kind of odd out here we haven't found any with the head stamps. Really weird. Uh, pewter buttons galore. A whole bunch of uh, P caps. Some rivet. Uh, uh, grommets. Another rivet. Rivet base. Piece of brass uh, ring type thing. Uh, he got a uh, forage cap buckle with leather, and then his is a uh, cuff buttons. He got two eagle, two an eagle eye. Right? Nope, general service. Two general service, and two two eagle A's. So did very well there. Got himself a part of a shoulder scale, and then another rivet, and then we'll get on to his. Uh, now we'll go to the bullets. So a bunch of round ball, pistol bullets. Got himself a Gomez and Mills. Is that your first one? No? You dug a few out here. Ah, oh, okay. Almost as many as me. <laughs> uh, Sharps, 69 caliber, awesome. Nice 4570. Um, don't know what that one is. Hmm. A round ball, a couple of 58 calibers. Um, not sure quite what this one is, but it looks like it was carved. Making a chess piece a bit like that. Uh, complete Spencer. And then his best find is his. Um, I'm going to get into the sunlight here so everybody can see it. Is his Sharps carbine sling buckle with leather still attached and the three rivets. Doesn't get any better than that. Well done there, Jason. Good job. Okay, on to VT mining. Boy, you can tell. Nobody told him how to put stuff out. <laughs> uh, anyway, got himself a pocket knife. Uh, got himself some 45, uh, 5070 and a 4570. Some Spencers. Uh, Spencer, the business ends. It looks like they uh, corroded out of the uh, casings. There's one casing right there. Yeah, a whole bunch of those. He got. He actually got the. Uh, he claims he got the. Uh, yeah, that might be a. Four. He got the Grand Slam today. I got the Grand Slam too. For two days, which uh, the Grand Slam for us is the uh, 52, 54, 58, 
and the 69. Uh, so, I'm sure we got turkey hunters out there. Well, Old bottle, uh, P caps. Oh, a short hanger hook. Yep, excellent. Uh, boot, lace, grommet. Oh, another canteen. Yeah, that might be a powder. That's a powder cap. There's no thread on the inside of it. Very cool. Uh, knapsack hook. Another knapsack hook. A rivet. A bunch of pewters. And then his best find. Or his, uh, that's good. Off a, some horse tack. That's a uh, just a disc. And then you got one, two, three, four, five. General service. One eagle eye. It almost like it says it like a T, isn't it? It's very weird. Uh, general service, but his best uh, best button is your best find. Yeah. His best find of the day was the. Uh, great coat two piece as opposed to the one piece so there's that awesome and then onto my stuff uh, I'll start up here we got the 4570s uh, Henry's Spencer's broken Spencer 4570 36 calibers that's a 30 that's a picket but picket bullet for those of you who don't know it's called a picket bullet uh, 45s, a piece of cut lead, um, a bunch of round balls, three sharps, and a 69 caliber. Like I said, I got the grand style. Uh, we've got the, some pewter buttons. Bring them down here. Uh, I got my eagle eye and an eagle A tin back, and then some lead, some more rivets, P button, P uh, caps, a watch fob pieces of glass and then my I'm gonna have to go with, this is my second best point mm. yeah yeah I agree yeah because we don't know that look at that oh look at that in the light that was put on there by hand so that's got to be the guy's name -A -I -T. so that's probably his name that's a canteen spout where we think it's got a name on it W I thought it was W A M but it's actually W A I T so we got to look up uh, if there's any uh, weights Army back in the uh, well, over a 40 year period, I'm sure there were. Uh, but my best find was the uh, 1863 token, uh, New York token, New York token. So there you go. So that was my best find. got today it was a good time good times so uh, thanks for Jason for flying out from Iowa glad you're able to make it finally well now the ball's in your court we will find us some, uh, some uh, emigrant trail sites for us to go hit we'll do the same thing out there so anyway from uh, somewhere in the Utah territory uh, say goodbye BT Jason, DFX, until next time, and uh, this is PB saying uh, thanks for joining us, and uh, we'll see you soon, happy hunting and good luck, see ya, bye.